Welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're making faux Oreos. Faux Oreos, or I really like to say replica Oreos. Yes, indeed. We're going to try to make Oreos in our very own kitchens. Have I made this before? Of course not, but we're going to be making it together in time. Oreos are that quintessential, delightful childhood cookie that we also love as adults. Has the layers of the chocolate cookie and then that creamy filling. Mm. We're gonna make it all, we're gonna bake it all right here, right now. We're also making it because, is this a real Oreo or am I dreaming? Is this the one Oreo that I've been searching for? Let's find out. Is it a real Oreo or is it not? This recipe comes together very quickly. First you make the cookie, then you make the filling. You're done. First things first, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. One cup and two tablespoons granulated sugar. 12 tablespoons room temperature butter. Half teaspoon salt. One teaspoon espresso powder. This is optional. I talk about it all the time in my videos. Check out why. Beat the sugar and the butter together. One large egg. One tablespoon cold water. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Beat together. One and a half cups all purpose flour. Three quarters a cup of cocoa. If you have black cocoa, which literally is much darker than this, Use that, because it'll make a very dark cookie. I don't have that, so this is just regular cocoa going in. Three quarters of a cup. Mix together. It's going to make a very stiff dough, and that's exactly what you want. Just make sure it's fully combined, and then you're done. What we want to do is scoop out the dough into balls, about two teaspoons. If you have a teaspoon scoop, you can use that. Mine is a little bit bigger than two teaspoons, so I might start with this and see how close I can get it to this just to make my life easier. So I'm not making this exact, but I may have to switch what I'm doing here. You can always shape it with your hands, so let's start by doing that. To make sure that they're all round, I'm going to go back and just, I'm going to literally roll them. Okay. I may have made these cookies a little big, but that's okay. They're just going to be slightly bigger Oreos. What's not to like about that? So now that I have the balls of dough, I'm going to go ahead and flatten them with a glass that I've put some of the cookie dough, just spread it on the bottom so it sticks so that the cocoa powder will stick on it because it's going to make it so the balls of dough can get flattened by the glass and they don't stick to the glass. It's like perfect. You want to make sure that the cookie is an eighth of an inch to three eighths of an inch. You'll see it's just shy of a quarter inch there. We are good. You know how those Oreo cookies have that pattern on top? I thought it would be nice to add our own. This is optional. Okay, the bake time on these cookies is 18 to 20 minutes. But here's the deal. You don't want to underbake them or else they won't be crisp. But if you overbake them, well, they'll burn. So just watch them carefully. I'm going to put all three trays in at once. I may move them around in the middle, but we'll see how they do. It's been 18 minutes. They look like they're getting a little dark on the edge. So I am taking them out. Mm -hmm. 
let them cool a little bit on the pan until you can carefully get a spatula underneath them and then let them cool completely. While the cookies cool, let's make the filling. Two and a half cups confectioner sugar. Half cup vegetable shortening. One teaspoon vanilla. It's going to look dry, but it will eventually start to clump together. Add in two teaspoons of cool water. Mix together some more until it all comes together. The mixture should be stiff, but also spreadable. I have made the cookies into pairs so that they are pretty much the same size. I'm going to use with that teaspoon scoop again for the filling. I'm going to scoop out some, put it in my hands, and to help the process, I don't want to break the cookie. I'm using clean hands and getting it into a ball, and I'm going to start to flatten it already with my hands. Sort of cheating, but not really. And then I'm going to take one of my cookies, put it on the inside, flatten it. Just sort of wiggle it around. There we go. We have our very first replica Oreo. Let's continue with the rest. Yum! Look at my replica Oreos. I love how the flower design came out. So glad I did that. But they'd be equally delicious without it. How do I know they're delicious? Well, you know, Baker's right. You get a chance to taste as you go along. So I know they're going to be so good. Look at how nicely the filling is. These faux Oreos are a little bit bigger than your standard Oreo, but it's really in the taste. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Did you hear that snap of the cookie? These are nice and crisp. And that filling, while having very few ingredients, is delicious. And pretty much dead on to what an Oreo would be. I think I'm going to have to take another bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. These cookies are delicious. I think this is the type of cookie that the day after they will even be even better than they are today, which is kind of hard to say because these are drop dead delicious. Could I shut my eyes and say this is an Oreo cookie? It might not be 100% exactly like an Oreo cookie, but you know what? This doesn't have the preservatives in it that they use. This is a delicious homemade version of an Oreo cookie. And I can guarantee the cookies I made will be gone in the next 30 minutes. Is this love of this cookie? Is this the one that I've been searching for? Well, yeah, it kind of is the one I've been searching for. Mm. If I can make these super delicious faux Oreos slash replica Oreos for the very first time with you, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out at Jen's Daily Dish and more. I can't wait to eat more of these replica Oreos. Yum, yum.